Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Heute right again we are in Restaurant. Today we are going in restaurant. It's a German restaurant called Brotzeit here in Singapore and I want to take you all with me so that we can learn some vocabulary and conversation related to restaurant for the beginners level. So, come with me. Let's go and do not forget the most important thing these days for your and other safety. We are in the restaurant Brotzeit. We are in restaurant Brotzeit. There are a lot of people sitting there, so you may hear some background noise and music. Before we begin with restaurant related uh, conversation, let's just quickly revise the vocabulary. Thank you. Okay, so their teller, their teller plate, their lofel. Spoon, their lofel. The gabel, the gabel pork. Das messer, das messer knife. Das glass, und ich trinke Wasser. Das salz, das salz means salt. Der pfeffer, der pfeffer pepper. Here is the serviette. The serviette means napkin. And here is the speisekarte. The speisekarte means menu. You can also call it the menu. Inside the menu you will see the four speise. The four speise means appetizer. You, also, you can also call it their appetizer. After that you will see the hauptspeise or the haupt Gerisht means main course. Haupt means main or major. Das Getränk means the drink. And here is ein Saft, a juice. Der Nachtisch or das Dessert means dessert. The common verbs that you would use in a restaurant conversation would be Essen und Trinken, naturally, because Essen means to eat, Trinken means to drink. Then Bestellen. Bestellen means to order. Nehmen means to take. Möchten means would like. Haben means to have. When you are in a restaurant, the kellner fragt. The waiter asks, Was möchten Sie essen? What would you like to eat? Was möchten Sie trinken? What would you like to drink? Was möchten Sie bestellen? What would you like to order? Bestellen means to order. Or was hätten Sie gern? What would you like to have? In case of drinks, you can answer Ich möchte gern einen Saft. I would like to have a juice. Why einen Saft? Because Ich is nominative here. Einen Saft is accusative, direct object. And Saft is masculine noun. That's why the article is changing. For more details, you can watch my video on nominative und accusative. I will leave its link in the description box below. You can also say, Ich nehme eine Cola. I take... Sorry. You can also say, Ich nehme eine Cola. I take a Cola or Coke. My man nimmt eine Cola. My husband takes a Cola. In case of food, you can say, Ich möchte gern einen Salat. I would like to have a salad. Or ich hätte gern eine Pizza. I would like to have a pizza. Or wir nehmen eine Pizza. We take a pizza. And because I prefer vegetarian food, I can also ask, Haben Sie etwas Vegetarisches? Do you have something vegetarian? In a German menu card, you will commonly see the curry wurst. The curry wurst is curry sausage. The wurst means sausage and you will see different different kinds of sausages in the German menu card. Then you will also see the super, the bread cell, the burger, just to name a few. Ich habe hunger. I am hungry. Und jetzt esse ich einen Salat. And now I am eating a salad. Guten Appetit. Ich bin satt. I am full or I have had sufficient. Jetzt möchte ich zahlen. Now I would like to pay the bill. 
you will say when you want to pay the bill you can say ish myoshta salan bitte i would like to pay please or we are myoshta salan bitte we would like to pay please or simply salan bitte bill please or check please salan is a word it means to pay and these halan is a noun it means the numbers and the noun has set capital so these two words are different after you request for the bill the waiter will ask suzamen order ketrent together or separate and according to your choice you can just say suzamen order ketrent so in my case it is suzamen and my total bill here here is my bill and the total bill is Seventy dollars four cent. So let's consider this in euros. I would say Zipsish euro fear. Zipsish euro fear. We don't say cent part. And now I'm paying the bill here bitter. And once everything is settled, the waiter will give you back your card or whatever the money is left. And he will say, "Danke, auf Wiedersehen." Thank you. See you again. Now it's time for the house of Gabo. In the homework, I am asking you a question. Was möchten Sie bestellen? What would you like to order? Please answer in the comment box. Auf Wiedersehen.